and now I think it's time to fulfill a dream of mine. Let's take the Cinquecento to Monaco. As we were passing by San Remo, I couldn't help but stop at the casino. In Italy we don't have many casinos actually and San Remo is one of the few and it's fascinating. Twenty kilometers to the border with France. I don't know if the car was ever outside of Italy. She is 48 years old. And maybe this is the first time she's getting out of Italy. close to Monaco already. Stuck in a traffic jam. I have no clue how to get to France. Everyone is stuck. The traffic in Ventimiglia is absolutely horrible. I was not moving for half an hour. And now Google told me this shortcut, but the road is closed. Ah, my luck. I met some policemen and they told me to go back to Bordighera and get on the highway. Because traffic is completely stuck here. And it's impossible to get to France. Let's go back. Bordighera. Now we have to find highway. Not all Cinquecentos are driven to Garlanda. That's a nice way to drive anyways. We are in France. We made it finally. Now, not so long to get to Monaco. So, wish me luck. Cinquecento in Monaco. Amazing. Like every respectable car YouTuber, I'm here in Monaco. And let's see if there's something interesting for us. A few nice cars here. This is the new NSX. And here, at Monaco Motors, Exige. Elise, Bentley, all kinds of Ferraris. But, I think I just saw something that might be more interesting for us. It turns out that I was actually right. I saw what I saw and the trip to Monaco is already worth it. What are the chances? seeing one of these. This is a real Clio V6. 3 liter and the engine is like in there. It's a mid-engined Clio. And this is so cool. For sale at 
49,900 euros, which if you ask me is a bargain. It was what, 35,000 when it was new? Let's see if we can find some more classics. Of course, the usual luck due to all the trouble coming here, the museum of the cars of the Prince of Monaco is closed. Nice pagoda. They actually do have a car fetish here. Wow, car spotting in Monaco. That's so original, Adriano. Well, guys, I have to tell you, not much work for me today. Because I can see a bunch of supercars and a lot of Rolls Royces, but I cannot really find many classic cars. I kind of want to move here though. Freaking cool. Pretty. Tasteful people in Monaco. beautiful location for dinner <laughs> this might be the best McDonald's in the world they have so many Macans it's Macan 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 Hmm. Nothing to see here. I think I shouldn't be here actually. I think it's illegal. Hmm. I might be lost in Monaco. How do you get lost in Monaco? And we are back. Have you ever wondered why car spotters love Monaco? Let's do a little experiment. This place here should be pretty tactical because of the speed bump. Oh, Supercars are going to stop at the speed bump and then we can catch them here. So let's just sit here for 10 minutes and let's see how many supercars how many supercars we can spot in 10 minutes That was interesting. I'm a terrible car spotter. I just missed a DB11. The speed bump didn't pretty much slow down anyone but this is another promising spot oh look 
Monaco most definitely is the best place to be a terrible car spotter. Bye bye beautiful. I'm sad we're leaving. Bye bye Monaco, I'll see you soon.